hi guys so i'm back from the picard i know it's been quite a long time and this is a totally different setup i have moved and done all this other stuff and i'm just waiting for my white table to come in and it's actually stuck in the storage post office and i can't get to it so i just thought i'll just do a video anyway so this is why it looks a bit different but anyway what we're going to do is we're going to do a monthly video just for you all about your uh your september 2022 month ahead production see what it's like see what it's all about i've got four choices as usual so we'll go in this order so see which one you're pulled to is your message in message number one Is your message in message number two? Is your message in message number three? Or is your message in message number four? I remember sometimes, you know, they can overlay the slightly different messages in each of the powers for you. You just 100% go with your intuition. But we're going to go straight on to power number one. Hi guys, so this is everybody that chose message number one for your predictions for September 2022. And basically really, I don't know, I'm just going to go with the flow, see what comes up. I'm not going to do any channeling, we're just literally going to go straight into the cards and I'm going to do them as they come out I think, so we'll see how it goes. So here we go, so the first card for you guys, I won't read anything reverse today, is, oh wow, so you start off with Six of Wands, such a great card, then we have, wow, Judgment, okay so definitely whoever's pulling this pile, September's a really big month for certain and one thing I do know is and you know what I can't remember why I know because I can't remember the specifics but I just know October is a really important month for so many people astrologically I will have to check in why that is because I literally can't remember um, then we have three of cups <clears throat> so basically if you've been having a difficult time definitely know it's going to be getting a lot better in September 100% September is going to be much better for you guys. Then we have Eight of Pentacles. But I think that's because you've put a lot of hard work into something. That's for sure. And you're going to reap the benefits as a result. Then we have Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, definitely something very physical, tangible. But something that's really nurturing as well. And then we have, oh wow, Seven of Inspiration. So something you've been working a long time for as well. Uh, but I also just feel really quickly as well, I just need to say, you do need to be careful that you are um, don't miss out on having a good time. Don't miss out on really good opportunities that are around you. And I think the only reason why you might miss out on them is because they're presenting themselves slightly different to what you might imagine the best thing for you is. And because of that, I do think you have to be careful that you don't miss an opportunity and definitely with this coming up around the three of cups i feel like this is missing an opportunity that on some level just makes you feel emotionally uh inspired emotionally creative makes you feel just kind of happy joyful and that kind of like childlike uh enthusiasm is kind of what i'm feeling and i feel like that is coming up for you very strongly in September but do just make sure that you don't miss that opportunity because I'll say it again it is presenting itself in a different way to what it would usually do and I feel like partly that is because <sighs> judgment's really big being in the middle and with the queen of pentacles I feel like you've been really open to a new idea or a new way of doing something in your life and because you've been open to it, this is why this opportunity is coming in, because you're looking for it now. I feel like before you might have been looking for it, but you weren't open to it, or you might have been open to it, but you didn't know, you didn't, uh, you didn't have the, oh, what would I say, the belief systems to be able to see the opportunity when it came up to you. Only now with the judgment card, I feel like there's gonna, there's been a shift in your mindset, or there's been a shift about something, and it's going to allow you to access something else. I would definitely say for this pile, it rings heavily stuff to do with anything pentacles related. So 
we're talking like job, career, finances, house, home, um, something that's really about responsibility, authority, um, stepping into your own leadership type of skills in a certain type of way within your life. And like I say, this is very, very much kind of, um, it's like very much about actually for all of you no matter which level it hits it's going to be it's going to revolve around something to do with finances and it is going to increase your finances but i do really feel like this is something where you do need to be open to it because again it's about doing something or receiving something or having something in a different way but i kind of feel like for almost all of you you will be able to spot that opportunity and pick it up because you've had previously and even if it doesn't feel like it to you you've come to the conclusion of a successful cycle where you've been working really hard at something and I do feel like it does it's to do with like I say money job life purpose it's got that kind of energy to it I feel like you've been working on something really really hard in this kind of area and it is going to start reaping its rewards for you but it's coming through in a slightly different way than well actually I'm hearing for some of you it's coming across in a totally different way to what you expected but the funny thing is it's something that once you can see this thing you'll recognize that it's been right in front of you all the time and actually you've already been and this is the funny part or the bit that life would say is the funny part you've already been actually taking actions to do with this anyway it's just that it was kind of unbeknown to you because you didn't see the bigger picture of how it was coming all together and you didn't even recognize that you were taking those steps because it's something that is um yeah, it's just been something that you have I would say for most of you been unconsciously working on for a really long time but it's like your soul was driving you in this direction because this is the direction to go but your human self was just kind of doing the next step the next step as it came across so yeah i'm really feeling that very strongly now let's just pull a few i'm just gonna pull a few oracle cards Um, also, what I would say is I'm getting strongly that it's really important that you're able to hear something different to what you would usually hear. As in, I don't know if there's a person, a friend, or you'll hear something on YouTube, or just something will come up, or a parent, or something. It's, um, you know when somebody's going to be saying something to you which you can't easily either understand, absorb, or you feel slightly triggered about it, or you feel slightly irritated about it, or you feel the need to have to kind of like... Oh, what's the word like um justify yourself to them this is when i think you just need to stop because there's something going on there about what they're saying or what's being said to you that is really going to give you and i'm actually seeing the vision of like um uh like a, a massive bird of prey really high up in the sky like like zooming around like looking at the entire vista of a massive landscape to then pick its prey i feel like you'll be in this situation to see a complete and full vista and you'll have a very very sharp vision and you'll have real clarity about how it is you next need to go forward and it'll become so so clear it like becomes so obvious that you wouldn't you'll kind of like laugh at yourself and think how did i not recognize or see that or understand that sooner because it's just going to almost be like the penny drops type of thing and then you're almost going to have this laser type focus and then you will absolutely either be looking for the exact opportunity that's going to be coming up or you'll be scanning such a much bigger area that then you can actually see the opportunity that's next coming up so do make sure that you pay attention to whatever somebody or something or youtube or your dreams or everybody's going to be different right so you're going to have to feel into yourself but i feel like life's going to be heavily communicative with you in september so what i mean by that is it's going to give you a really like um it's going to it's going to give you a really fast and intricate feedback system so you might do something and then it's not long before somebody says something to you or you get a certain action that is around you that affects you in your physical reality that then gives you the next understanding and perception of how to move forward and i feel like it's going to be like a cascade effect and it will happen pretty quickly but the biggest thing of all of this is you need to be open i kind of feel like this is really the key bit you've kind of like really, really got to be open. So you've got to kind of be queen of pentacles because she is mature, grounded, soft, clear, but she is incredibly still very, very open and she can still be very kind of um, submissive to life and will let life lead in a certain way. 
and she can let go of too much of attachment of what she wants because it's almost like she can answer the call to life's call and because she follows the call of life opportunities and experiences keep um, cascading is what I keep hearing it's like a catalyst effect one thing happens and then the next thing happens the next things happens and it's kind of like a chain reaction all of which is leading you to this bigger greater opportunity that is not going to be the finished product by any result because we have the three of cups so it's kind of like the beginning stages still where many things can happen but it's definitely opening up a completely new doorway that even as you start opening up this new doorway in september you will still have no idea how far or how wide it's actually going to go because it's going to be massive like you might look back in five ten years time and be like whoa i had no idea it was going to go this big or in this direction or whatever but it's all completely and utterly positive so, right, now let's just see a few, um, I love these, I've only just got them, but I think they love the colours. A new dawn, yeah, you see, now this is what I'm saying, it's opening up a completely new way, it is all of these things tell me that it's opening up a completely new way for you guys, and that's what's coming, and it's kind of something that's very much starting in September. I think for some of you, it might have already started on a mental, emotional level, but it's going to start to be very earthly and very practical and tangible in September, and then it's literally going to build from there. Um, oh, there's two elephants on that card. Just give me one second. I think it would be really cool, those of you that are into it, just Google the power animal of the elephant and see what individual message it might have for you too, because I just feel like there's something with that. And I do think there's very much something about, there's some longevity with what's going off in September. This is like a long, long term thing. And I do actually feel like there's going to be a really good, really strong support system around you in September to do with all of this too. And I think it's going to be something where it's going to... Um, what would I say? It's kind of like going to, uh, oh, um, oh, it's just gone out of my head. Oh, that's it. It's going to do a thing where it's going to require that you use your left brain and your right brain together. So you want to use your creative, intuitive, feminine right brain with your logical, linear, practical, masculine left brain. This is really, really important to do with whatever this project, life purpose, money, job, career, whatever type of switch is going off. Because um, I do feel like there's going to be a change with that, or at least September is the beginning stages of that change, either which way. For all of you, it's going to be slightly different. Okay, so then we have a rebel. Oh my god, I always love a rebel. L Rupert, my favourite little Pomeranian friend, is such a rebel. <laughs> <laughs> he's also a little Aquarius so I don't know how many of you are Aquarius but anyway so with this um yeah so the clear message with this actually is really really strong the most important thing is because it's what I was saying to you earlier about you need to make sure you're going to be open to whatever life is going to be saying to you whether it comes through somebody else's mouth through YouTube through a situational scenario because I feel originally you will have almost like um, oh, you'll have uh, some conflict, internal conflict to do with it. Like it's just going to push you a little bit, trigger you a little bit. And what it's going to do is if you, were, if you could feel into yourself, it's going to make you feel a bit like a teenager, like you're having to rebel, like you're having to stamp your own individual, or no, not your own individuality, but your own your own opinion you need to feel like it needs to be heard and no matter what you need to say it or you need to do it or it needs to be this way because you want it your way because you know best kind of thing but in this situation actually life is really saying that actually sometimes yes you do know best but in this situation life knows best so remember to follow life let life lead in September. Listen, be intuitive, but be logical and practical with it. And literally let life lead. Otherwise, it's going to be tricky for you to get into this new dawn, this kind of new situation that's occurring for you, which you will totally and utterly love. So it's going to be totally and utterly worth it. Um, but yeah, just make sure, make sure you keep that. You know how we all have different uh, personalities within us and I mean I definitely resonate with a rebel friggin hell and the number of times I have rebelled just because I don't want to feel like I'm being controlled or that I'm not that I want to be more free or that I don't know I don't want to follow the status quo or whatever it might be but actually in certain situations it's incredibly powerful to um uh, you want to just turn that teenage angst to do with whatever this is to do with into almost like um, adult 
business person is what I'm feeling. This is really, really important. You've got to take a completely, um, you don't want to bring too much emotion in. And you want to, if you feel yourself justifying yourself, don't be a lawyer to the situation. Don't try and win the argument or win the situation the way you want it to be just because you need to prove yourself right. That's going to cause a whole load of problems and you'll miss the opportunity. So I just see that as the one little um, booby trap to avoid. Okay, so then we have alone time. And then I feel like these two go together. Oh, wow. And then we have the serpent. Hmm, so with those two, I just want to pull one more card just to clarify something. And we're going to go with one of these. Okay, Knight of Swords. Okay, now this is easy. Okay, so basically, I just think what you need to be mindful of as well in September is... Um, uh, there's going to be quite a lot of intense energy going around for you is in because there is a lot of creativity around you and that creativity can either be used destructively like with the rebel energy like the teenage energy or it can be used really productively like the queen of pentacles energy where she is emotionally stable she's secure she's letting life lead she still knows what she wants but she is okay with letting life lead so in some area of your life it's like giving up a bit of control and trusting in fact i think that is the key 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 bit you need to give up a little bit of control and you need to trust with whatever this is going on and to do that you might just need to slow things down a bit so whatever you do don't rush into stuff don't rush into responding or reacting in whatever way it might be just give yourself a bit of time a bit of space that so that you can allow your logical practical um masculine energy mind to kind of weigh things up pause collect all the information before you actually make a response of communication and action, something like that. And that's what I'm really getting for you guys. So just a quick short snap reading, but that is what I kind of see as one of the most important things that you need to be mindful and aware of in September. Great things are coming, new opportunities are coming, but they are outside of your known. And because they're outside of your known, you have to be super, super open to spot them. And just make sure that your inner rebel, your inner teenager doesn't stop you from moving forward in a way that's actually going to be incredibly beneficial to you. Um, and I do completely see, I absolutely love the colours in this card. I kind of really do see that whatever this is, it's actually, where, whatever you think it's to do with what I talked about, money, career, job, whatever. I actually feel like for all of you, regardless of what it is, it is something linked into your life purpose. So it is really important and it's something that is going to bring you a lot of happiness and stability and harmony. Um, but you have to be open is all I really see. You've got to be open. You need to let life lead. You need to let go of control. You need to trust and then just take it all from there. So that's what I see for you guys. Hope you enjoyed that reading and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hi guys. So this is for everybody that chose message number two for your predictions for September 2022. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so I'm gonna do what I did with pile one. I am first of all gonna get mainly the tarot out and I'm gonna read as we go along and then we'll take it from there. So, first card out. I'm not gonna read anything reversed either. Oh wow, really powerful. So to begin with, you have the Emperor. Okay, so the first words I'm getting with this is there's something about routine that's really, really important. And also um, thinking about long-term stability, but also stability that comes with a lot of inspiration and creativity, although it is practical. So, oh wow, another big card. We have the world. It's funny because there was quite a few big cards coming out in pile number one. And as I said to pile number one, I really can't remember why. I'll need to look into it. And I can't even remember if it's a feeling or what, but I just know October is really important for so many people, particularly on an astrological level. And I can't remember why it is, so I'll check that out. But yeah, oh wow, another one. Another major arcana, the magician. I feel like, is there something underneath that? No, the magician. So you start off with three major arcana. Let's just choose one more. 
Okay, and then we have Page of Swords. Okay, so instantly what I'm already feeling and seeing is, it's interesting, it's a little bit like power number one in terms of it's already coming out that I feel like there's a new beginning that's starting to sow its seeds in September. But um, it's really, really big and I do think it revolves. This is going to be for different people. So think about where you are on the spectrum of what I'm saying because what I'm going to do is be channeling the raw energy and so then there's different ways that that raw energy can be interpreted and I'll try and explain them but you feel into it. So basically what I really feel like, the, there's a really big new cycle, a new pattern being set up to do with how you relate to either your own masculine energy or and or how you relate to masculine energy in the world. So this can either be how you are going to start to create your own authority within your life, take more responsibility, accountability with things, or it's are you actually going to be connecting in with somebody that has that sort of energy? Um, are you going to be partnering up with somebody that has that energy? You know, it's that kind of thing. But probably it's going to be an internal, external, that both reflect each other. So not only will you start stepping into more of your own masculine energy, which will particularly play out to do with things where you are either responsible for others or you're, you are responsible for being accountable for something in a very practical, tangible way, like at work, like with money, like in some kind of community. It could even be within your own family, like you're stepping up more in a certain type of leadership way. And in the same way, I feel like that is going to be, um, there'll be some kind of reflection that you also get in that, in your external world. So I don't know if you're going to see something change in your job or... Um, if you date men, if you something's going to be changing with that, or if you have a partner who has very strong masculine energy, if something is going to be really important for them in this month, and it's around completing an old cycle and beginning in a new cycle, but it is the beginning stages of it. So it's kind of like um, collecting all the data to do with whatever this big change is to do with. Um, yeah, let's just see. It feels like it's a very, very fixed point for you guys in September. So it actually feels like it's something really, really quite specific. And again, you're going to look back at this in some, you know, some time gone, and realise that there was something. Um, there was an there's an anchor that gets put down in September in your physical reality, which is something that then a lot of things grow around. So that can be, again, a business, it can be a job, it can be a home, it can be creating a new family. I mean, there's many different ways that this energy can play out. So now let's just see what cards support the rest. Oh, wow, that's massive. So supporting the emperor, we have the empress. Wow, okay. Um, wait, actually, before I say any more, let me just turn over the rest because that is super significant. Okay, and then we have Knight of Wands supporting the World card. We have, wow, Justice supporting the Magician. And we have Knight of, Knight of Swords supporting Page of Swords. Whoa. Okay, this is really, really big. If you've chosen this pile, categorically, something in September is, it is coming in with so much energy. Um, sorry, just give me a moment because I need to just even get this into words because it's sort of... You know what, I, I'm actually going to, because I really want to make sure that I get this right for you guys, I'm just going to pull out the oracle, whoa, now, so we can see it all together, okay, so I can get the bigger picture, so we have rebirth, because just when I see the emperor and the empress like that, and I already knew this was something really big anyway before we even got that combo, but that just tells me that there really is something huge coming in, and uh, so we have child divine, Okay, and then we have the gate, and then last one, we have balanced relationships. Oh, did 
don't know why that won't focus. There we go. So then we have balanced relationships. Okay, so. Right, so what I am really, really feeling with this is, so let me just go through the type of energy or the metaphor. So the type of energy of this is essentially, um, again, it's like message number one, but it's actually, it's over something much, much bigger and that has much, much bigger long-term consequences than even what power number ones did. So it's very much about, um, this was really, this rebirth energy. I feel like there's something that you've been trying to create in your life for quite a long time, but it hasn't happened and there's been coming and going. But I do feel like now with the emperor, the empress and the child divine, it feels like whatever this is, is now gonna manifest its thing through to your life. And I do feel like it is literally anything, quite literally from marriage to relationship to a baby being born or coming up or something it's something around pregnancy but then also um creating a new business starting a new career path building a new home having a new home <sighs> i don't know even like having a completely different philosophy on life like rebirthing a new you something completely new is starting to grow and but i actually feel like it's not even like it's going to start to grow i feel like an ex in September it's literally going to be exploding because we've got two knights energy and the two knights are kind of running towards each other almost like they're going to collide but when they collide actually it's like the emperor and the empress having sex and then they're creating um, a baby it's got that kind of energy to it like it's super creative explosive um, but it does feel like it's like loving and it's nurturing of a really deep part of you, like something that's really, really important. Again, something that you've been trying to do for really, really quite a long time and finally you're gonna succeed at it. It's kind of got this kind of energy and it feels like it's because finally there's a, an, a balancing and a harmonizing of something within you and within your life, which it allows this experience to now fully start to manifest. And again, when I say it allows this experience to fully manifest, I think it's with the magician and the justice card, it feels like, um, I just feel like this has been long overdue. <sighs> oh God, it feels like it's been so long overdue and that you've just been, I feel like your soul has been wanting to do this for so long, whether you have or you haven't, or I feel like sometimes you're aware that you have really wanted whatever this is, but then sometimes you pushed it away and or then sometimes you've gone after this and then it seems like your plans have been thwarted by some external experience or situation. And I feel like there's actually been quite a lot of feelings of disempowerment to do with whatever this has been previously in your life. And I think it's taken a lot of self-mastery, I think it's taken a lot of self-mastery to kind of now get you into this place where you can receive it and you can um, grow whatever this is into, I'm hearing like the fully developed embryo and then the fully developed child and then the fully developed adult and then the fully developed human soul combined. I mean, it just feels really, really big. Um, now, just a couple of things though to just be mindful of with this. I feel like it is only the very beginning stages. This was a little bit like um, message number one. It feels like in the beginning stages. Now they had to be careful not to have a teenage response to whatever it was. With you guys, I don't think it's about a teenage response, but I do think you have to tread carefully because I feel like what you need to make sure you do is that something doesn't happen. And because of the, let's just say, ah, uh, things that have happened to do with this area in your life previously that haven't been positive I think you need to acknowledge that you're more sensitive to this area at the moment until it is like fully manifested and been highly stable in your life for a long time I think it could feel quite um oh, what's the word vulnerable it could make you feel quite vulnerable and because it makes you feel quite vulnerable i think there is again with the child to be honest this vulnerability i think you just have to be careful that you don't either psych yourself out or you don't take something too personally or basically you don't become too reactive 
in some way or other. Um, again, because this balanced relationships card, it does tell me the balanced relationship card along with the emperor and the empress, it just kind of tells me that there's a lot of self-mastery that you have gained, but also that you need to continually go along this self-mastery of true maturehood, well that doesn't even make sense, but true adulthood to do with this area of life. Because no matter how old you are, this area of your life is still... It's, and you might have been going after this sort of thing for a long period of your time, but you're still very young. It's still a, in its very infant stages to do with whatever this is. And I think it's really, really important that you fully acknowledge that. Like, really, really important. Because to not fully acknowledge your not only your vulnerability in this area of life because of previous things not having gone the way that you wanted, but also like almost like your... Um, Oh, uh, not innocence, but like just immaturity, inexperience, that's it. Inexperience of a positive scenario that has fully manifested itself to the end point of maturity and given you results until you get to that place. I think it's just important to always... <coughs> oh, my throat's feeling tight. Just always recognise that this is still a vulnerable place and a vulnerable area for you and it absolutely is in September so I just say tread carefully um, be kind with yourself um, and also just know that this is the beginning stages so try and do what you can to make sure that you have um, pace yourself basically really pace yourself and I'm seeing this very much more in, on an emotional level internally like it is really important either not to get too excited or not to get too frustrated or not to get you know there's some kind of extreme energy which is a bit more in the fire realm um that is it's going to sometimes get triggered because you feel vulnerable um and depending on your personality type, you might either get to a place of overexcitement or you might get overly frustrated. And either way, it kind of blows, it sets off a wire thing and it blows a fuse within you. And that can cause some instability and you don't want that to happen. For some reason, I just feel called to just pull one more card to do with this gate card. So let me just go with um, this one. This is a message to do with that that I haven't covered yet. Oh, okay, so we have three of pentacles. So three of pentacles with the gate. <sighs> Just give me one second while I feel into this. Um, I think make sure you get in advice. And actually, for some of you, make sure you're getting proper professional advice. So if this is a relationship type thing, maybe it's a bit of relationship advice, not just from friends, though. You need to go to a professional. I do really feel like that. And again, if this is more to do with some kind of creation of a business or something like that, or it's a money project or it's uh, an investment in a home, if it's some sort of financial investment in whatever way, again, I think it's really important that you get some professional guidance guidance on this and even if you've already had some professional guidance uh, this reading is basically saying but there's still something more for you to be gained so maybe you need to get a second opinion something like that because there's something about this additional um, advice that you will get in whatever area of this life you know your life this is to do with um, it's going to um, open up a new um, well like, like a gate here it's going to open up a new doorway for you which I don't feel is just a different a new perspective it's actually a very it's another physical way to engage with this area of your life like on a very practical level so it won't just be that it gives you a new perception it's more like it's going to give you um, a new action to take and this action is very important and very specific and I do think this action will help um, um, it actually won't um, help emotionally stabilise you. That's something that you just have to work on internally yourself and you have to have self-mastery with that. It's more like it's generally just going to lead you to something on a physical level that's really, really important that then you very practically apply to whatever is going on. Not psychologically will you apply it, not emotionally will you apply it, but something very physical. So, um, yeah, 
I think I'm just going to leave it with that. And that's what I'm getting for you guys for September. So again, September does feel like a really, really big deal. Um, and I definitely know what October is. So I guess whatever is happening in September is then building up to whatever is coming through in October. So probably what I would say is the more that you can um, set yourself up, like get all your ducks in a row during September, the more likely you'll be able to leverage whatever this energy is that's coming in, in October for everybody. So cool, I hope that made sense and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye. Hi guys, so this is for everybody that chose message number three uh, for predictions for you guys for October. I oh, know not October. Whoa, sorry, September 2022. I keep banging on in the last two readings that something important is coming in October. And obviously for the fact that I even blurred this up, there is something about September which almost directly relates to October. And I think this is even more important for you guys than um, the other piles so far. So I feel like it's something to do with astrology and I just don't know why I've got a blanking on it. But basically maybe just check out what astrology is going off for you guys in October because there's something really important to that and it's something that's actually going to help you leverage September. So really interestingly, it's like you guys need to go forward into the future to then apply the future into the month of September. So just go and have a look at your astrology the best that you can or go and see what's lined up in your diary like meetings or dates or whatever the hell it is because there's something that you need to be almost using almost your intuition of what you feel is happening in October and with what you feel is going to happen in October you then need to start applying that in September so that's pretty cool um, I've not actually had anything come instantly through like that for any of the other piles but you so anyway now what I'm going to do is again your reading feels a bit different so I'm just going to pull out all the cards to begin with and then we're going to take it from there yep you guys is totally different I'm even getting a different spread um, so just bear with me I'm do this as quick as I can with you guys I also know that I read reversed I didn't have to read reverse with the other ones so we'll go with these first so we have okay we start off with your reading um five of pentacles but thank goodness it's in reverse <laughs> and then we also have ace of emotions in reverse okay now we have death card upright then we have knight of swords upright And then we have Four of Swords, Upright. Oh, wow. Then we have the Chariot, also Upright. This is definitely linked into something to do with your life purpose. I'm feeling that instantly. Um, then we have the Hierophant in Reverse. And then we have Justice card, Upright. Okay, instantly, what I instantly got with this is, and thank goodness, you know what, <laughs> to be honest, thank goodness for this, thank goodness for this, like, you're, well, let me just go on with this, actually, because I'm getting so many things for you guys on this reading, so basically, in September, finally, 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 and this is going to be different for all of you, but you are ending, like, some kind of, oh, oh god just something that has been going on and on and dragging its heels and dragging its heels and you've not been able to get a conclusion or problem after problem after problem keeps coming up finally whatever contract that is is finally being put to bed so on a very physical level it could literally be some kind of physical contract with a flat or a business or a client or a marriage or a divorce or I don't know what it is but this you know that's finally going to be concluded but equally if it's not something physical then it goes on the energy level so it's some kind of soul contract which is finally being put to rest and I feel like whatever this contract was previously it was bleeding out either so much money and so much emotions or if it wasn't something so much um like an a uh, on a practical financial level it was just really really dragging your self-worth down and with that it was making you feel emotionally heavy so whatever that is this is like september it is ending 
I'm literally, and it's funny actually, as I say ending, I just see this card again, the death card. It is finally ending. And I just feel like for you guys, oh God, thank God for that. Because it's just gone on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Um, but I do, and I do feel like the ending is going to be pretty quick. So whatever this is, like the um, physical scenario either resolves itself super quickly or it, um, I don't know why this won't focus. Anyway, it resolves itself super quickly or, um, I don't know, it's almost like you quickly gain clarity on something which allows you to take the action which therefore leads to the conclusion of either the soul contract or the actual physical contract, whatever that might be. Um, I do also feel like even if it's like a physical contract, let's say it's actually something tangible, like something to do with a business or a client or a marriage or a house or whatever it is, um, I still feel like for a lot of you, you recognise that this had deeper relevance to you on a soul level, like it was result, it was revolving around a theme that just reoccurred over and over and over in your life. And again, it definitely took power away from you. It definitely dragged down your self-worth a hundred percent um and i just think as well it was very very like either physically tiring and draining and time consuming or and or energetically tiring consuming and all of that kind of thing um and like i say i do feel like at some point in september you just suddenly gain this massive epiphany and clarity on it and as a result the whole thing is ended finally and it's finally put to bed and funny enough, again, as I say, it's put to bed, it's making me see this card again, the Four of Swords. Um, and it finally feels like you're going to get peace to do with whatever that is. And then this is beautiful. It's not like it's like rest, by the way. It's not rest that you're going to get. It's like internal, mental, emotional peace. And then suddenly there's a whole new burst of life and a whole new burst of energy that you get as a result. And again, if this is to do with anything to do with a, um, a contract, a physical contract, like we say job, um, career, divorce, uh, house, I don't know, whatever other physical contracts you can think of, um, it's also a case of you're going to get massive momentum moving forward in that area of life now. Um, uh, but sorry another scenario as well is also for those people where it's not like that that thing needs to move forward anymore but it's just like you suddenly have got a lot more energy within yourself and within your life to start doing what you want so this this feels like that's the most important thing i need to tell you about that by the way this reading feels like it's split in two um so this is what i'm just being guided to do so i'm just going to put these up here It's so strange, like this reading is so kind of like, it's like we need to go into the future first to do with October, but then apply that back into September. But you need to know that in September, everything resolves to do with a contract, either soul or physical of some kind of contract that finally gets resolved. But now let's also see what else is going on. <clears throat> oh, whoa. <laughs> Where's that come from? That's not even in this deck. I really don't know what's going on with you. <laughs> Your guys, this reading is totally different. Just one second. Um, I think that's because I was playing about with these two cards a couple of days ago and I must have just left one in there. Um, and again, <clears throat> this makes me think of like, things are layered for you guys at the moment. And I'm wondering as well if it's quite important that you understand the layering that's going off. So if this is a physical contract we've been talking about, you need to know the soul level of it. And actually, if this is a soul level contract, you, then you need to pay much attention to what it is physically showing you in your life. That's really, really important. Um, it feels like there's a lot of... Uh there's a lot of awareness for you guys to gain in September and that awareness is going to be something that is also critical to October. But anyway, let me just... I really like it when I get readings like these because they're definitely, they feel atypical. And so for me, they just feel more interesting. <laughs> so let's see. Whoop. Okay, we'll have two. So these ones I don't read reverse. So let's just see what this was because it flipped off when it shouldn't have done. Oh, wow, we get another. This, this is a tarot card. Like I said, I think I did it in my deck by mistake. 
So on this one we have another the Hierophant and the Hierophant is upside the right way up this time. It says here traditional institutes, traditional values, conventionality, conformity, marriage, commitment, religion, beliefs, sharing knowledge, social groups, education, knowledge, beliefs. Okay, let's just see. So it's highlighting this card, eternal self. Yeah, I just feel, um, in fact, no, let me just turn them all over first. Oh, nice, koi fish. Koi fish I always think of as being super lucky and super good luck. <clears throat> so definitely I do feel like, finally, you guys, in September, your um, luck is changing. Oh, God, I just feel like, oh, it's just been so heavy for you guys for quite a long time. And it also, I do think you have many a times been like swimming upstream to do with whatever this contract is to do with either physical or soul or both but finally you're going to start to be flowing downstream and it, it and it really is over but to think it's over would be foolish because it's not over from the point of view that you need to collect everything that you've learned and understood during this process and apply it in the future and particularly apply it in october this month Okay, and then we also have Child Magical. Again, it does feel like the energy is going to start to be so much lighter for you in September. And I think you can really start to enjoy yourself because you know what it's like. Like maybe there was like a really big, let's just go, I'm just going to talk about it on business, but that's just a metaphor. Let's just say there was this really big meeting that you've been having to work towards. And it's really, really important because you do it in front of a new client and that new client could bring in colossal amounts of money to the business. And whether you are an employee or you own the business, either way, it's really significant for you. And so there's been so much pressure on it. And the more pressure there's been on it, the more you felt like you need to achieve. And finally, it's like you've finally done the meeting, you've achieved what you needed to, and you've moved on. And again, like if this is a sole contract, you know what, you have now, I don't want to say pass that test, because it's not like sole contracts are tests, but the point is, you've learned everything you need to know to do with that contract. You now no longer are the frequency of that contract. So that contract on a soul level is now no longer relevant to you and you can move forward. But one thing I am hearing is really, really important with this internal selfing and the hierophant. You have to understand also that you are now no longer the same person that was working with that contract, either physical or soul, like I say. You're no longer the same person. So going forward, it is about applying yourself very differently. And to begin with, that might feel a bit, um, you might just have to think about it because you might be on a bit of autopilot because this has been going on for so, so long. So yeah, I'm hearing that this is something where you need to just get really clear with your internal dialogue and like your psychological and emotional self so that everybody is now in alignment with the future because the future is very different to your past to do with whatever area of this life this is to do with. Like I say, if it's a physical contract, that's going to be totally changing. Um, but if it is also um, a soul type contract, so like something within your soul, um, then it literally is as well. Like it's literally like a, a new you is emerging. Like if you, can you see this person, like the two heads and like a new, a new head is splitting out between the middle. But it's interesting, all of their eyes are shut. And again, I think it's so interesting because it echoes a little bit of pile number three. You have to recognize that you're still quite innocent to do with whatever this new contract is. And I do feel like with this pile, it's more that I think you need to reassure yourself a lot to do with the fact that it's over, that you're no longer going to be in this state of low self-worth or uh, just some kind of financial or time restraint. Like that's no longer what's going on anymore. But because it's gone on for such a long period of time, I think you just have to reassure yourself that you are not going back into that space. So as well, let's say if this is a physical contract, like a business contract, or it is um, a marriage contract, or just a housing contract, something like that. If it suddenly appears like everything's going in the direction that you want it to, I think because it's gone on for such a long time and it's been quite complicated, you might second guess yourself and think, oh no, actually, you might suddenly have fear and think, oh no, I think something's about to go wrong or I think they're going to change the mind or something's going to go 
against my favor again and i think it's really important that you just constantly reassure yourself that that is no longer what's happening because you have come to it is now resolving and it's going in a new direction and that new direction is good for you so i think the main thing is just know just keep reassuring yourself in september that the good is generally good and it's not going to go backwards again at least not to do with this area of your life for the foreseeable future at the moment and then we also have we have masculine principle and sharing cultural ideas. So let me just have a little feel into this. Um, yeah, I think there's something about, and let me just kind of get this right. Um, just give me one second, I'm just feeling into it because I know exactly what it is, but I haven't got the words to say it. So just give me one second while it goes into my mind. Um, Okay, so it's very much, this is about, um, to do with whatever this either physical contract is or this soul contract is, or obviously both, because ultimately you need to know both to do with whatever this is in your life. But um, I don't know, there's something, let me just say a whole load of words because I can't really quite get it out right, but and then I think it's gonna make sense to you guys as I go along. There really is something about, um, It's about kind of like taking action in a new way and it's about taking action in a new way that basically is going to be beneficial for more than just you and it's kind of multiple people but it does involve a you um what would i say i think you just got to be careful that your ego mind so that let's could just say when i when i'm talking about the ego mind right now what i'm picturing is the part of your identity that you hold on to so strongly um, and that you identify with so strongly that it kind of can become um, too fixed and because it comes because it can be too fixed it can break if that makes sense it feels like what you need to understand about in September particularly to do with these contracts whatever they are is that you are no longer fixed or tied to whatever this has been it's no longer going to be a pattern for you or this is no longer going to be a constant problem for you but the thing is you you kind of need to make sure that you are don't get okay if this is a, some sort of physical contract like again the business the marriage whatever divorce etc 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 you need to be flexible in september to it just be flexible because there's something about more of a um, a new way of, I wanna say like people management. There's a new way of people management that kind of involves you taking control, but taking control in a way that isn't about dominating yourself on another. It's about understanding how to play a situation without getting anybody else's backup. And the way that you do that is, it's like by another level of mastering your people management skills. Because, you know, once you understand where somebody else is at and their point of view, and if you understand that they are not gonna budge their point of view, then you then understand what you need to do to get the outcome that you want. And that may involve you negotiating with your own ego mind about what you will and won't do in order to get what you want so it's like sometimes behaving in a very different way to normal which is going to make your ego mind the part that you identify with strongly it's going to make the part you identify with strongly feel very very again vulnerable but it's really really important that you do that because that's some part of it's not so much that's the part that is um um ending the uh you know ending the contract or sorting out the contract or moving forward with the contract but it's more that it is um it's that internal belief system which will allow you and life and the external to 
move on from this contract it's like there's a certain part of like I say it's like you are you are taking control and you are being directive but you're doing it in a way that um, is okay I'm going to use this word and I know some people won't like it but you just just play with me on this it's like manipulating a situation in the background rather than um, bulldozing a situation in the forefront you know it really is like I say it's about understand the other's perspective and point of view understand where they will and will not be flexible then you have everything you know you need to know so that you know how to flex to therefore get what you want but it will involve you having to put aside a part of yourself that you have really strongly identify with but this is going to yield so much and it's not that that ends the or that that allows you to move forward from this contract but it's just that it will because this contract is going to end and move forward at some point soon anyway regardless it's just that this belief system will allow you to do it quicker faster and it will allow you to leverage more of it and it will also set you up really well for October because if you decide to not take this approach this more kind of softer way of using your masculine energy to get what you want and like I say it involves intellectually in the intellectual strategizing of people management to get what you want and to keep all sides and everybody happy if you don't take that approach you are um all I know is just something about this is going to reoccur again in the future and you're going to have to face it again even though that cycle is over because it's also like how you end something is how you begin something and for whatever reason it's vital to your soul or this physical reality that this is ended in a really harmonious way so that then you can then move forward with maximum amount of energy and enthusiasm or with a maximum amount of um a good reputation or whatever the hell it might be and that's what i'm getting really really strongly for some reason with you guys i just feel like i just want to pull one more because this is quite an interesting read let's see what we get so it says oh wow taking back your power yeah so i feel like it's um it's again this taking back your power reminds me of this so we, when we begin with the five of pentacles in reverse just know that whatever has been really really difficult to do with what we've been talking about is now literally coming to a conclusion in september but the way that you end anything is the way that you start everything so make sure you end this with the energy that you want to take forward into the next beginning the next contract the next whatever just end this well even if it means you have to even if it means you have to do something that you wish you wouldn't usually do and i'm just going to bring up this one thing that i had i had this difficulty with somebody to do with something i was paying them to do for me and it went on and on for a number of years and it actually was also very much soul related so it wasn't just a physical thing it was a soul thing and and it actually interrelated massively with a past life it had family stuff involved there was very many different things involved in it but in the very physical it got to a place of to do with money and in the end what i decided was you know what i will pay this even though I know I've been taken advantage of here, but I am paying it knowing that I am doing this because I am not having this energy coming forward with me anymore. I can make the money back again. It is no big deal. I've learned a lot of lessons from this, which I won't do again. And essentially, this other person isn't going to budge. So you know what? Fine. I'll be the person that budges. I will be flexible. I will be bend because you know what? I want to move forward and I do not want this energy coming with me anymore. So you know what? Fine, I can suck up whatever is the money that I didn't want to pay. I'll earn it back. It's no big deal. 
and I won't make that mistake again. But I don't need to prove that I am right because you know what, deep down inside I know I'm right and if the other person can never see that and will always cause problems with me because of that, okay fine, let's say for, for like, let's just say that you're right, I'll give you what you want, we'll part ways, we'll part ways amicably but I've learnt my lessons, I won't do that again and I want to move forward with the energy I want to move forward with, done. It's kind of like got that kind of energy to it. So have a real, real think about this because I do feel like it is really, really important and consider the different aspects that might have come up for you as I've been doing this reading because this was highly important for me. And you know what? It became even more important, I would say, <sighs> nine months later. And it was really important that I ended it in that way in order for me to then make the leverage that I did nine to 12 months later. And I think there's a similar sort of thing here. So I hope that made sense to you and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Bye. Hi guys, so this is for everybody that chose message number four for your predictions for September, 2022. So let's see. <coughs> Um, right. So I'm just going to pull yours out first of all really quickly. In fact, we'll turn them over as we go. I'm not reading the reverse for you guys. So we have, we start off with two of swords. Okay, so there's a decision that you do need to make. And I think it's been a long time coming you making this decision because then we have Knight of Pentacles. And Knight of Pentacles, oh wow, great. So finally, you're going to know what to do about this decision. Whatever this is, in September, you're going to gain all the clarity about what to do so then you can make, um, you're going to make a decision that isn't just uh, based on, some, on practically looking at the scenario. You're going to very much be using your intuition as well. So I'm hearing it's really, really important. You feel into what you feel you should do or what you feel is happening and then also think about what you should do and think about what is actually happening and then it's about putting those two things together and that will help you understand what is the next best step to take with wherever you have indecision and actually I'm also hearing for some of you this isn't just about indecision this is about um this can also be about a situation that is on repeat over and over in your life and you're not able to break through it's kind of like you're finally going to have the answer is what I hear and I do think it's been a long time coming but yeah you're finally going to get this clarity but it's like I say you must do this thing of like feel feel what you feel you should do or what this is about think about what you should do or what this is about and then blend both together you can't don't just use your analytical mind and don't just use your intuitive mind you must use both oh wow so let me get in the awakening card so this is judgment Again, like I say, this is just all telling me that there's a conclusion to whatever pattern you keep going over and over and over in your life or whatever decision you are not able to make, you're going to be able to make one. Then we have, oh wow, so the Knight of Pentacles is also supported by the Knight of Emotions. Again, this is telling me, it's reiterating this thing about make sure that you think about it intuitively and emotionally as well as think about it very practically and very mentally you must combine the two so it's almost like the example i'm getting is you need to speak to the friend speak to the friend that's really intuitive and emotional and then also speak to the friend who's very practical and very intellectual and you need to blend both of those two different perspectives it's that kind of thing that's the way that you are going to break this pattern or that's the way that you are going to be able to make this decision that's really important and it is all 100% available to you in the month of September. In fact, it's almost like destined that you will come to the conclusion and the awareness that you need in September um, so that you can move forward from this pattern. So actually, to be honest, I feel like, I know some people don't like the energy of hope, but there feels like a lot of hope in this reading for kind of like a... Oh, just for relaxation and peace from whatever this is that's the main energy that I'm feeling because I'm also getting the image of like somebody that's on holiday that's on an amazing beach that's having a cocktail it's just like you know that just kind of oh, you just feel great you just feel great and it's not necessarily that anything major is changing other than you are just enjoying the experience that is all around you there's that kind of energy as well that's going on with this 
Oh, wow. And then we also have the High Priestess. Again, for me, I feel like this is the third echo in this reading of you must absolutely use into intuit intuition and emotion but also practicality and intellectuality if that's a word to resolve this pattern to change this pattern to change where you're stuck in your life to be able to make a new decision and take new actions because i'm seeing that because basically the queen of swords is super intellectual and obviously the high priestess is completely psychic so it's again these two different aspects um, and again, these two different aspects here, Knight of Pentacles, very practical, Knight of Emotions, very emotional, they're both coming together. It kind of feels like this is very much a reading of opposites uniting and merging together. Um, and it's interesting, when I see this picture here, obviously she's got her arms over a heart and obviously this person looks like they've got it over there i wouldn't say it's their throat and i wouldn't say it's their heart i'd say it's their higher heart chakra which is around the thymus so again it feels like um i just think it's it's just the blending of two things coming together which is really really going to help you understand how to move forward um and actually i think it's going to um it's going to uh give you a lot of momentum and give you a lot of energy because you know what it's like when you're stuck or when you're not sure or when you're in a repeat pattern it ends up being very draining over a period of time and it actually ends up dampening your energy field it reduces the colors in your aura it can bring up a few aches and pains in the body it can bring up like not sleeping so well or dreams that are highly unsettling all of this kind of thing can happen and i do feel like this is a reading that's telling you in september this is coming to um it's not that it's coming to but it's just that you are finally going to crack it you're finally going to crack whatever this is now let's just get some oracle but again remember you need to see this and i'm saying it i don't know for about the fourth or fifth time because it keeps coming up so strongly you need to use both intuition and emotion and practicality and, int and intellect to resolve this and move this forward and it really is the blending of those two things together and it's almost like getting two different perspectives like i say go to the people or the person that's super practical grounded intellectual go to the person that's super emotional and intuitive and then see what they both have to say and from there decide how you can move forward but i'm also hearing that you need to give yourself a little bit of a time delay between these two different perspectives coming in so that they have time to start to blend within you so that then you can get those aha moments and this is where so many people say to me i can never hear my spirit guides look everybody's spirit guides are chatting to them all the time but if you can't see them or hear them it will come as you'll just have random dreams that give you the messages because of how, what involves in the dream or it's kind of like you might suddenly get an idea out of nowhere or you suddenly get a compulsion to look at something do something and in doing that you gain more information and then that then also helps you these are all ways that spirit guides are helping everybody kind of get to where they need to go or get the understanding that they need to get but again this is um we just always have to be open to it if that kind of makes sense but anyway let me just see what else we've got here oh wow we have awakening i feel like there's quite a lot to do with your guys kind of heart heart chakra like higher heart chakra because look at this person's heart it's kind of like breaking open and funny enough i was going to emphasize the word that i just think it is really important that you need to be open so that you can allow this blending of two different perspectives coming together to create a new a new way of you seeing or doing or acting i think it is going to require softness um and i know that that isn't always easy and i do actually feel whoever's pulled this reading in ask your intuition if there's something you need to hear from any of the other messages because i feel there's another message in particular here that is relevant to a lot of you guys but i'm not telling you what it is because it might not be for you and also it's for you to use your own intuition but yeah if you feel called to just try that oh wow and then we have the god card let me just see what it says here it says um Benevolence and compassion, recognizing the eternal force within yourselves and others. Um, use it and then shadow attribute, using power to control people. I just think, just make sure that you don't let your own... <sighs> just make sure that you don't control yourself. 
and I know that might sound a weird thing to say and what I mean is when I say don't control yourself don't um, if you're justifying yourself to yourself or somebody else stop don't because in the month of September this is how you are controlling yourself and how you are controlling your reality and in justifying yourself to either yourself or another person you're either not going to heal at the internal messages that are trying to tell you something or you're not going to hear the external messages from the other person because you're too busy trying to justify yourself or justify your belief or your action or whatever and that's just not going to help you get this awakening thing get you this breakthrough and do just remember that if you are in a place of needing to make a decision and you don't know what to do or you are stuck or you are in a repeat pattern technically you do need something outside of you to give you the stimulus to give you the seed which allows you to see something in a new way and in seeing and and particularly not just seeing, but in, in understanding something in a new way, in gaining that awareness, you will then be able to essentially have this godlike ability of transcending whatever is the issue, the stuck pattern, the repeat pattern. But like I say, it is going to revolve like you've got to let go of controlling your reality by needing to be right about whatever it is or needing to justify whatever it is that you're doing and then here we have oh i don't know what that actually means um, but I, this reminds me a bit of the pegasus card the ability to break free i'm really getting this thing about you breaking free i think it's just break free from a really repeat pattern that's been going on and on and on and been keeping you stuck and here rejecting emotion okay so i would also say that because this card has come up probably for quite a few of you the reason that you are stuck is because you are um either control i think there's two things that are happening part of you in this group are controlling your emotions so you're not listening to your emotions but if you were to listen to your emotions and allow yourself to get emotional it will give you it will you will not be stuck anymore because you will gain the insight that you need to move forward and then for the others of you that do listen to your emotions and it's not that that's what's keeping you stuck i feel like it's a case of um you need to do the opposite when you would be very emotional and reactive to something you need to completely drop that and just be calm and still and see if you can gain um and just by being calm and still when you would usually react, that in itself will also allow you to see something new, have a new perspective, and it's already you taking a new action to do with whatever this is. And that will also mean it's going to soften you and it's going to allow some insight or some perspective to come in that will help you change whatever is this stuck pattern. And I do really, really feel that. Again, like for the other card, I just want to pull two more for you guys. What do you guys really need to know about what's coming in September? So remember, be open. Um, definitely look at the, all the different aspects of you. And know that you are going to become unstuck with whatever this is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. We have the trust and we have the tower card together. Okay, so this is a really powerful combination. Look, things can really, really change, but it does involve you having a breakthrough. It's like you need to break down. Break down how you've been going about something is in literally let it crumble let yourself be wrong even do it do a thought experiment imagine that you were totally wrong to do with whatever this is to do with and because you've been totally wrong to do with whatever this is to do with that's why you've got stuck and trust that actually if you allow if you allow yourself to imagine that you've gone about this there's a completely new way of doing whatever this is that then this is when you're going to get the breakthrough and i think it's going to be very very harmonious with these two fishes fishes seem to be coming up a lot at the moment so it feels a lot about going with the flow is really really important and again it's that thing of don't control yourself don't control yourself there's like um sometimes it's really important to control yourself and i think you guys are amazing at this i feel you guys can be really independent you're great at taking control of your life you're really good at being accountable responsible all of these things but i kind of feel like now it's for somebody else to come in some insight to come in to help you to help lead you in a new way because you can't do it any alone anymore and in fact actually that's what the tower card also feels like 
you can't do whatever this is alone anymore. Somebody else needs to give you this insight, this perspective, which will allow you to break down the barriers that you have around you currently, which is keeping you stuck or in a repeat cycle or not knowing what to do or taking the same action over and over again that is leading you into the same cycle of being stuck. So you know what, I think this just feels super, super positive. And I just love this card. I think the major message I really feel like with this one is, with this whole message is, whatever happens in September, do not control yourself. Either don't control your emotions, if you usually control your emotions, or don't control your, don't control yourself by telling yourself by justifying stuff to yourself, that's it. You'll be controlling yourself in September if you are justifying to yourself or others why you're doing what you're doing. What you need to do is you need to completely let go, try a completely new way of doing something and trust that it's gonna all work out. But also, tr you've got to remember, as well as you trusting, you still need to be practical and intellectual about what you're doing. And you still need to check your emotions and check your intuition. But when it really comes down to it, you're gonna have to trust yourself to do something different to what you would usually do or to feel something different to what you would usually feel or to gain a different belief system a different perspective a different psychology to do with whatever it is that you're usually doing and it's going to work out amazing it really really is and i just so love this card it's so beautiful so i'm just going to leave it like that and i look forward to reading to you guys again but do just know this is um I think there's so much that you can gain in this month of September, which again is gonna lay you up perfectly for October. And you know this as well is honey calcite. I always love honey calcite when I want more of a playful, sunshine, fun energy. So I do think, remember, that that is very much all the way around you and it's coming in for you. But yeah, just take on board everything we've said because in order for you to change an area of life where you're stuck or a place of indecision or a repeat cycle, you do have to trust yourself to go about something in a very different way either actions, feelings, emotions or psychology or maybe all of them you need to feel into that yourself but there's also going to be people around you that can support you I hear that massively I massively massively hear that but you just have to be able to hear them hear what they're actually saying so make sure you listen really well listen with your heart because the hearts come up a lot listen with your heart and you're going to get everything that you need or if it's not about you needing to listen to somebody else, let your emotions come out of your heart because the emotions that are gonna come out of your heart instead of you controlling your emotions is gonna give you everything that you need to break this cycle um, and to start a completely new cycle, start afresh, and it's gonna be awesome. So I hope you've enjoyed that reading and I look forward to reading for you again. Bye.